Bob Barker, who spawned four criminal sons in her own image. The incredible woman whom J. Edgar Hoover named public enemy number one. Bob Barker, a woman born of simple origins who rose to become one of the most infamous names in the history of U.S. crime. In the 1930s, a woman's name echoed through the airwaves and newspapers, striking fear into hearts and raising eyebrows. J. Edgar Hoover, the head honcho of the FBI, labeled her as the most vicious, dangerous, and resourceful criminal brain of the last decade. That woman was none other than Ma Barker. But the thing is, people can't seem to agree on who she really was. Some say she led a gang of no good nicks, while others believe she was just a loving mother caught in a wild ride. So, now it's time to separate fact from fiction and figure out if Ma Barker was the ultimate gangster or just a doting mom. Let's go back to the time when gangsters were a big deal. They were a mix of people who came together for one reason, money, and lots of it. At the front was either Alvin Karpis or Ma Barker, who also went by Arizona Airy, Donnie Clark, or Kate Ma Barker. You can call her whatever you like, depending on which story you're following. Some people saw her as the boss of a tough group of troublemakers. Some even said she controlled everything. But a friend of hers in the crime world, Harvey Bailey, thought differently. He said, The old woman couldn't even plan breakfast. When we got together to plan a bank job, she'd go to another room and listen to radio shows like Amos and Andy or Hillbilly music. So, who was Ma Barker? A smart criminal or someone who just liked radio shows at home? To find out, let's go back to the past, around October 8, 1873, in Missouri. That's when Kate was born. She married George Barker in 1892 and became a proud mom of four boys, Herman, Arthur, Fred, and Lloyd. But then, things changed in 1915 when George vanished. Word was he had trouble with drinking and couldn't handle being a dad. After that, the Barker boys turned to crime. And guess what? Kate didn't mind. She actually enjoyed the perks that came with stolen money. Luxuries and nice things were her favorites, and if her sons could bring them home, she was all for it. People said Kate was the big boss of a gang that did bad stuff across America. But you know what? Not all the stories might be true. Yes, Kate was part of it, and she agreed with what her kids did, but she might not have been exactly like the tough lady you see in movies. If we turn our back to the Barker's gang, there was a person named Alvin Karpis. They called him Creepy or Ray. He was supposed to lead the Barker Karpis gang. He was born in Montreal and grew up in Topeka, Kansas. He started causing trouble when he was young, around 10 years old. He and Fred Barker became friends in prison around 1931. Unfortunately, the gang faced tough times when Arthur Doc Barker got locked up in 1920 for killing a night watchman. Lloyd, another son, went to prison in 1922 for stealing mail. He didn't get out until 1938, so he missed a big showdown in Oklawaha. Herman, yet another son, tragically took his own life in 1927 after a fight in Wichita, Kansas. This left only Fred and Doc from the Barker family, along with Creepy, Kate, and about 25 others for their escapades. Ma Barker was really strong about looking after her sons and keeping them safe. During the 1930s, the gang made some major moves. They kidnapped a wealthy person and a famous banker releasing them after receiving a hefty ransom. Interestingly, the banker's father was friends with President Franklin Roosevelt. Around the same time, the police were getting serious about apprehending criminals, nabbing John Dillinger, Bonnie and Clyde, Babyface Nelson, and Pretty Boy Floyd all in the same year, 1934. The pressure was on. Then came J. Edgar Hoover, who took charge of the Bureau of Investigation. Back then, catching criminals was a challenge without tools like DNA testing or fingerprinting. Once, Senator Kenneth McKellar challenged J. Edgar for not catching enough wrongdoers and accused him of never catching anyone himself. 
However, J. Edgar proved him wrong by personally capturing Alvin Karpis. Now, just before J. Edgar's significant achievement, a major confrontation unfolded in Oklawaha. Kate and her gang arrived in Marion County. On January 8, 1935, Doc Barker was captured in Chicago. He had a map pinpointing the hideout of Kate and Freddie. They were lodging in a pleasant spot near Lake Weir at 13250 Highway C-25, Oklawaha. Kate, using the alias Kate Blackburn, claimed Fred was her husband and had a considerable amount of money. In 1935, the FBI declared Ma Barker and her gang, the Barker Carpus Gang, as public enemy number one. This was a major turning point in the gang's history, as it made them the most wanted criminals in the country. The FBI had been tracking the Barker Carpus Gang for several years, and they had a long list of crimes to their name. The gang had robbed banks, kidnapped people, and even murdered law enforcement officers. They were known for their violent and unpredictable behavior, and they were considered to be a major threat to public safety. If you've stayed with us until this point, it shows your curiosity about Ma Barker's story. But hold on, there's more to unravel. Before we dive deeper, how about hitting that subscribe button? By subscribing to this channel, you'll be in for more gripping tales just like this one. In 1935, the FBI said that Ma Barker and her gang were the most dangerous criminals in the country. This was a big change for the gang because now everyone was looking for them. The FBI had been watching the gang for a long time because they did lots of bad things like robbing banks, taking people as hostages, and even killing police officers. The gang was really violent and nobody knew what they would do next. They were a big danger to everyone's safety. Everything came crashing down on January 16, 1935, around 7 in the morning. Federal agents swarmed the scene, exchanging gunfire as they encircled the house. Surprisingly, it took over 2,000 rounds and a staggering four hours to bring down Freddy and his formidable mother. Amidst the chaos, an intriguing duo, handyman Willie Woodbury and his wife, sought refuge inside a massive stove before making a daring escape through a side door. Following the shootout, the FBI turned to Willie to confirm the Barker's fate. The idea that Kate was the clever leader of the gang might have been spread by Hoover, perhaps because he needed a strong reason to go after a 62-year-old woman. One gang member, Creepy Carpus, strongly disagreed, calling it the most ridiculous story in the history of crime. He thought Kate looked innocent, especially during her outings as a trio of mother and her sons. When Kate and Fred died, their bodies were shown to the public, which was disturbing. It wasn't until October 1935 that they were finally buried next to George in Oklahoma, but Hoover wasn't done. On May 1, 1936, in New Orleans, he scored another win. Carpus was caught in his car and held until Hoover himself came to handcuff him. And there you have it, the story of Ma Barker. Now that you've heard it all, what's your take? Was she truly the criminal mastermind or just a doting mother caught up in it all? Share your thoughts in the comments below and make sure to hit that subscribe button for more captivating content on our channel.